Hey travelers, I just landed in Incheon after a six hour flight from Bangkok. There are about 12 hours before my connecting flight back to New York, so I booked a free Korean transit tour. After deplaning, I'll head to the transfer area and look for the transit tour desk. While I wait, I was urged to get a pocket Wi-Fi device from a kiosk in the terminal. I'll also grab a quick bite to eat. Then, it'll be time for my five hour tradition tour at 10 a.m. I would return to Incheon and continue on to my final destination, New York City. I deplaned just around 7 a.m. Incheon Airport offers a variety of free tours for passengers that are eligible to enter Korea and are connecting to another flight within a 24-hour period. These tours are organized by the airport, the Korean Chamber of Commerce. It's recommended that you reserve a spot in advance, which is what I did. Once you arrive at the transfer area, look for the green transit tour desk and check in with the staff there. Okay, so here's how it all worked. I arrived, went to the transfer counter where you would usually go from security, and there was a lady there at the after the desk for transit tours. She took my information, texted it to these ladies. After that, I went through immigration, which took like two seconds, and then customs, which took like three more seconds. And then I came down here to the transit tour desk in the, in the terminal, public facing side. Waited online for a little bit, there are people here for all different tours. I couldn't make the 8 a.m. tour, which is unfortunate, but mine's at 10 o'clock, so I have about mm, two hours. So it's $10. They take credit card. If you do credit card, then it's going to be a 10% surcharge. You could do. So now I am going to find something to eat, and then I'm going to check out this pocket Wi-Fi situation so I can be online so I got my pocket Wi-Fi for 3300 won which is like 275 for the day unlimited data three users it comes fully charged but it also gives you a charger and I'm gonna connect to it now and get something to eat after roaming the first floor of the airport I ended up at Lotteria with the cheeseburger meal for my breakfast After having a cheeseburger and fries and washing up a little bit, I still have about an hour, so I'm going to go and try to check out the observation lounge on the fifth floor of the airport. Incheon's observation lounge is located on the fifth floor of Terminal 2 and is open to the public. After a series of escalators from the first floor, I crossed over the main terminal and into the main space. It was gorgeous. To the right was a room with a scale model of the airport and a number of its statistics. On the other side was a seating area with a coffee shop and VR games that overlooked the tower and ramp. It was pretty early in the morning so nothing else was going on. Time to head back down. It was too late for me but there are many more dining options on the third and fourth floors of the terminal. Now it was time for the tour. You can leave your deployment. Yeah. Thank you so much. She wrote all over my booklet. 9.40 is rally time. And this is where we're going. Well, not really. We're not going to do the Kiyongbokgung Palace because it's closed today. We will go to the Chengdukong place instead, and then in Sedong. Our guide Nikki raced us from the terminal to our bus. As we would come to know, her top priority was to get us safely through the tour and back to the airport within the promised time frame. Yes. Come in and please sit on the left side, please. The bus took about 20 minutes to get from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1, where we picked up some more passengers. Now we were fully loaded and we're headed to Seoul from Incheon. The total tour time was 5 hours. Transit time from Incheon to Seoul was about 90 minutes each way, so that left only about 2 hours for exploration. 
Our first stop after the scenic drive would be the Shandapgong Palace, and then lunch on Insadong Street. The $10 we paid covered this meal, and passengers were able to place their orders in advance on the bus. There was a choice of beef bulgogi or bibimbap. After that, we would hang out on Insadong for some souvenir shopping before heading back. Before the main attraction, our guide stopped over for the restaurant. Cheonggyeokgang Palace is one of the five grand palaces built during the Joseon Dynasty in the 1400s. Over time, the palace was destroyed and rebuilt many times throughout history. Today, this gorgeous palace is one of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. We were able to explore the site on our own or follow the guide around. Although the site was filled with tourists, there were also plenty of locals around taking photos while wearing traditional attire. Visiting this palace would be the most calming part of the entire tour. So we were here for about 40 minutes and it was actually really beautiful to see everything. Now we are regrouping, heading back to the bus so we can head on to our next destination. I think we're all back. <laughs> Incheon Airport is a souvenir, it's a too expensive, isn't it? <laughs> so we are going to the Insadong Antique Street and then uh, there is a very good quality uh, souvenir and then there is a uh, not so expensive as much as like uh, Incheon Airport and if you want to buy some the souvenir in Insadong Antique Street, I highly recommend it to you. Taste <laughs> as much as you want and if you like it, you'll buy it. If you don't like it, you don't need to buy it. If they are uh, make you uncomfortable, remember the shop and then tell me, I will go there with you and then I will kick their ass. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just dropped off at the Korean walking street, antique street. We will look for tea, cookies, souvenirs. Oh my god, I almost went with the wrong toy. After catching up with my tour, we walked a few blocks on Sambang Road toward Insadong, which is a famous local shopping district. It actually reminded me of Fort Lee, New Jersey. Oh. It's important for visitors to remember that Insadong is still an active street. From there, we headed down a narrow alley toward where we would be having lunch. Mm. What did she say? All oh, this is 300 years old? This first one. Oh, this one here? Yeah. Are we going in there? Yeah. We already. <laughs> yeah. After you finish the lunch, you can go out and then you can, you know, you can enjoy the shopping. Okay. okay. So, so come back to the bus until 1.30. Okay? Okay. The restaurant was ready for our entire tour bus. Banchan and rice were laid out on all of the tables and we were seated randomly. The restaurant itself was charming and contained a number of relics. We were quickly served our order with complimentary water. Soda and other beverages were purchased separately. 
The bibimbap looked great. I ordered the bulgogi, which is pretty good. Now it was time to check out Insadong. Oh, handmade massage balls. They're 20 bucks. Tea house. We turned around after reaching the end of the street and found this interesting local multi story mall. After the mall, I saw this street sign and decided to check it out. We found a sword and knife gallery. I was curious what this is. I initially thought it was some kind of museum, but quickly realized that it was a military grade weapons store. I certainly did not expect to just walk into a place like this while touring the street. We're back on the bus and we're gonna head back. And that concludes the tour. Now it was time for the ride back to the airport. This ride was filled with snores because most of us were so exhausted from our travels. Back at the airport. And I'm gonna get my stuff and customs and immigration. And then a shower. So security, customs and immigration, it's all pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, I was through in 10 minutes, not even. Um, what I like is that they have the automated passport control for immigration. So you've done your thumbprint and everything on the way in. All you have to do is scan your ID your passport rather, and your fingerprint, and you're through. Awesome. A few hours spent in Seoul was pretty nice, and the tour itself was well executed. I highly recommend it for anyone transferring to Rincheon. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us on here and on Instagram. It really helps us a lot. Until next time, bye.